Hi everybody, welcome back to casterscorner.com. I'm your host Kaleo for another toy of the day here on casterscorner.com. Uh, you can check out a full gallery of the things. I'll give you hints, I do this when I'm teaching. Where are you gonna see the gallery of these things? Casterscorner.com. Um, thank you to Diamond Select for, Diamond Select Toys and General Giant for sending these over for review. We took a look at Mandalorian last night and we have another beautiful piece from the show to take a look at uh, tonight. Uh, you can check out the full gallery on the website, casterscorner.com. You can follow us. We are at Casters Corner on all social media. And you can check out the CornerCast podcast every Monday night on Apple Podcasts. We really appreciate it if you subscribe to that, as well as subscribing to our channel down below here. I think it's click on the little uh, logo, our logo. Um, so like I said, I don't usually do unboxings, um, but I felt like between Mando yesterday and what we have today, I thought um, the boxes are part of the collection. Um, somebody recently asked me, do I keep all the boxes? No, I do not keep all the boxes for stuff like this from Diamond Select. Um, it's just, they'd be just too much everywhere. Um, so once I open them, the boxes go out. I appreciate the artwork that goes into it. Um, but when we talk about these gallery statues um, or these um, other statues, we'll talk a little bit about it, milestone statues, um, the boxes are important and integral to the piece because um, if you don't keep the boxes, if you move, if you decide to rotate your display, you want someplace safe to house them. And the boxes are made to do that. So yes, I do keep my statue boxes. So this is, thank you to Diamond and Channel Giant for sending this over. So this is the box lunch, what are they, how do they call it? Box lunch. Get some, get back, give back. Uh, milestone Star Wars The Child, one half scale statue. This is gorgeous. I actually have not opened this yet. Just like Mando yesterday, you're seeing me open it for the first time. Um, it's, uh, listen. I, I think my favorite show it is Mandalorian. I think one of the reasons that's my favorite show is because we don't know anything going in. We're along for the ride. And it is, and a lot of people complain about this. I like the slow paced, quick pickup, slow pace. I like the, the character development that we see in the show. I know some people will argue about that with me, um, but uh, I sit or I did sit every Friday morning uh, during season two and with Jackson and the two of us would sit and watch the Mandalorian um, because God, this little thing reminds me of Jackson. Um, so it comes with a little collector card that tells you what number we got uh, of 15,000. We got number 2266. So in a run of 15,000, um, we got a relatively low number, um, which is really nice. We're in the bottom one third. Uh, so he is packed very nicely um, in styrofoam. The box shows off uh, where this picture comes from. So it is the fishing planet, um, the first time we meet Cara Dune, I know. Um, and, but he's got his little mug of broth and uh, he's ready to go. So I'm gonna very carefully get him out. Rather large. Put it outside like this just to help. Now this sucker's heavy. He is definitely a heavy little boy here. Um, much heavier than anything else we've opened so far. Jesse, need your help again. This is the handy dandy. Uh, let's break the seal of the tape here. Open that up. There we go. Okay off oops there we go he is heavy he is definitely heavy one side of styrofoam we got oh, okay second side of styrofoam and wrapped in a bag yep Again, this is how you know it's live because I'm, you're watching me open it. And there he is. 
he is solid. Um, he is also one of the cutest things that I own. Um, I definitely can't put him on a smaller shelf. He's definitely going to have to be on something a little more solid because of the weight of him. Um, at the bottom, he's got the feet to kind of help you keep it. You can see all the details down there. Tells you all about it. Lucasfilm, Gentle Giant. Um, the cup has a little bit of a shine to it. There, you can kind of catch the light there. Um, I don't know, it's harder to talk about a statue than an action figure, or even even the gallery piece where I try to light it up and stuff. Um, because this is all we got here. This is all we got. He doesn't move, he doesn't talk, he doesn't do much else. Um, but there's something about this moment in the show um, and the innocence that it conveys. Uh, also, the helplessness slash love that comes through in this scene uh, with the child uh, or Grogu as we've come to know him and there's something that is for me at least it connects me to Jackson like I should have brought him in for this one um, but it, it definitely catches that idea of that person that person that living thing that you're connected to and throughout the series we see that we see him making we see Mandalorian uh, or Din Djarin whatever you want to call him we see him making the decisions for the best well-being of the child of Grogu and not always to his best interest but he does it anyway he risks his life and uh, his well-being and his property to do that and I know that all that stuff's very heavy, but it's all conveyed in this look um, on the child's face here. This very innocent look holding his little bowl with his little bone broth or his tea. And he's just kind of just hanging out, just happy to be there, just part of the crew. Um, this is just a gorgeous piece. It, it's heavy. Like it's, it's genuinely heavy. And I'm very, very, I'm being very cautious with it as I kind of move it around here just because... Uh, the color work on him, the subtle shading, and, and you're not going to get it as much um, because of the lighting. Um, but the subtle shading on him, it's a much darker green um, than, than you see on camera. It's a much paler green that you're seeing, but it's a much darker green, actually. And there are subtle variations in the ridges in his head. Um, the work around his eye, a little bit of the pink eyelid um, to the green really works. And the shading on his ears... Um, I think they've done an amazing job and they also captured his irises and his eyes um, what I hope to be able to convey in the gallery photos um, is the color he's got like a dark uh, dark pupil with some light brown highlights around them um, and they really come through and shine um, in this piece I'm gonna try my best you can kind of see the outline on the sides. Um, if I put it in front of my face, how's that? Nope, it's still catching me. Um, but there's very subtleness to that that I think really captures the 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 uh, the vulnerableness. Even though he's powerful, the vulnerableness here. Um, I know I've been talking forever um, about a statue like that, but um, I think it goes back to my first statue. Um, I think it was Captain America. No, it was Wolverine. Marvel did uh, bust, bisques, bisques, ceramic bisques is what they called them. It always confused me because I always thought of bowl of soup. Um, the ceramic bisques, Wolverine, Captain America, Punisher, Spider-Man, and Silver Surfer. Um, those original ones kind of started the idea that elevated my collection. You know, it went from action figures and comic books that I kept in a box in the living room to uh, pieces of art. And I think that that's been one of the things that's kind of driven me is looking at the items like this, like the statue and like Diamond's Select Toys uh, figures um, and looking at them as pieces of art and seeing how you can create art with them. Um, some of them are art on their own, like this guy. 
and then some of them can be used um, to use your imagination to create art. So I, I think on every level, um, there, there's expression, emotion, and, and uh, personal connection to all these things that we have. So thank you again to Diamond Select Toys for sending this along. Uh, General Giant killed it on this. They just did an amazing job on this statue. Uh, so happy to have it part of my collection and it'll be featured somewhere. We're going to redo the room a little bit coming up um, to just kind of swap some stuff out. Uh, the Nightwing shelf will stay, but everything else is, is going to get swapped around a little bit. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you again to Diamond Select Toys, Zach and everybody over there for uh, help with our Diamond Select Week, Diamond Select Toys Week. We really appreciate it. It's sponsored here. And uh, follow us at Caster's Corner on all social media. Go to casterscorner.com for a full gallery of all these figures, uh, statues, and items. And uh, check out the Cornercast podcast every Monday night on Apple Podcasts. Um, and hit the subscribe button down below somewhere there. There's a new video and a subscribe button. Hit both of them. Hit the subscribe button and go watch the previous video. Um, thank you guys for watching here on casterscorner.com. And we'll see you tomorrow for another toy of the day. Have a good night, everybody.